Alexandra. Good morning, Monarchs. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Good to see everybody. Here we are today. Yep. We can join in prayer. Everybody make sure you quiet the calm in your mind and in your surroundings. And if there's chaos around you, then just retreat into your own mind, maybe by closing your eyes and doing some of those things we worked on this year about relaxing um, yourself and breathing in and out deeply. Let's pray our prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to be, to, to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, or to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't know if you guys have that prayer memorized. I have the lines memorized, but I get them out of order. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I do that to, too. I have to look at the order of them, but I, the last part of it is more easy for me. And it's a huge task. And I found something. I got this little bobblehead. I'm get, you want to walk it up to the. Sure. This is the Pope. I think you should be able to recognize him. And he comes with this cute little book I have here. And um, it's titled, Who Am I to Judge? And I like this particular. Um, thing that he said he was in his morning meditation on a hot day in June of 2013 which is a lot of years ago now almost seven years ago and he said that 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 day when he was praying he was thinking of words that St. Ignatius told us that he pointed out two criteria about loving how many of you love somebody raise your hand if you love somebody I mean, I hope you all have your hands raised. And this is what he said about it. He said, it's more clearly expressed in actions than in words. And he says, the second thing is, is there is greater love in giving than in receiving. So in what, in what we do for others, which is why we work hard at, at doing service for others, because it's our way of being the face of Jesus to other people. Yeah, and that's something really great to think about, too, as we go into next week, because on Wednesday, we're going to have what would have been our school-wide service fair and celebration at the school. But since we can't all be together, we are going to, as a whole school, focus on acts of service. Absolutely. So you can be thinking about what that looks like for you and your family. You know, um, we'll talk more about this Friday, but it doesn't have to be something really big where you go somewhere. It can just be something simple that you do at home or in your backyard or in your neighborhood for someone else. It sort of reminds me of something funny that happened at my house last night or a couple nights ago now, I guess. Well, on Mother's Day, my kids, my boys decided to make dinner for me because um, they were that, that would be an act of love because I have to make dinner all the time and like, what could they give me the night off from? Well, the next night I was doing the dishes after dinner and my oldest son, Nick, a recent college graduate, just came over to the sink and was helping and helping and helping. and. I heard Mr. Andrew from the family room go, Nick, you've lived here for 22 years. Why did you voluntarily help mom with the dishes? And he said last night, last night it made her so happy and it didn't really take very long. I thought she could use the help. And I mean, my heart, even though I didn't really need the help and I'm used to doing it, was filled to the rim. And he didn't, it didn't cost him anything except for a few minutes. Yeah. And it made me super happy. So sometimes doing service for someone um, just involves giving of ourselves to them. Absolutely. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and say our school motto. Born to lead, born to, lead, born born to, to serve, serve, born, born to, to make a difference. difference. <laughs> One more time. Born, born to, to lead, born, born to serve, born, born to make a difference. difference. Um, okay, our leadership quote today is, while some only do what is required of them, achievers always endeavor to go beyond the required and into the extraordinary. And what's more, they do so with enthusiasm. And this reminds me of something that we're going to talk about later this week as well. We're going to leave it a little bit of a surprise right now, but always going above and beyond is better than just doing what's required, right? Right. Um, we do not have any birthdays on May 14th. No, we do Another not. day with no celebrations. Happy birthday to everybody. <laughs> 
Um, let's see, today is Thursday, and so on the Google Classroom, you will find Spanish plans from Miss Alex. This will be the last round of Spanish plans for the 2019-2020 school year. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you check out your Spanish plans for today. Um, and I think that's all we have. Well, she and the other teachers are super excited to get back to it next year. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So love God. Work, work hard, hard. Be good. St. Joan of Arc. Pray for us. And have a happy Thursday. God bless you all.